Zero second. Stop recording video. But speech off. Hi, my name is Bruce, the blind man handyman. I uh, also wanted to show you this app that I've just. A guy contacted me about it. I never seen it before. It's been given to me for free, but I've been using it quite a bit. It's really neat. I'm 100% blind, can't see a thing. Photo gallery. Button. But sometimes I'm curious about what's going on camera somewhere. Button. Photo gallery. Button. Camera. Video gallery. Button. And you're wondering why I'm sitting in a truck that's running? It's because I've been testing a, a tool, a tool that's blue driver, and it's been running the battery down. So I'm just leaving it running, and I, I wanted to run to uh, charge the battery up. So I have this app up. Camera button. Photo gallery. Photo gal camera. Video gal video. Welcome to Pixie Bot. It's called Pixie Bot. Photo or video and this is Pixie Bot. Speak on the description for you. So let's go on. Video button. Video gallery. Button. Camera button. Okay, we're gonna take a picture. Okay. Photo gallery button. Camera button. Camera. Capture photo button. Well, let's take a picture behind me here. Capture photo button. Capture photo. Settings button. But this is amazing. Let me turn it up for you. So it's, as long as you got internet. The image is of the back seat of a vehicle, likely an SUV or truck. A fluffy, light-colored dog, possibly a poodle or doodle mix, is sitting on the back seat and looking at the camera. The dog is wearing a black collar with a metal tag and a small bell. The back seat is cloth and light gray with the headrests flipped down. The seat appears to have a cloth cover on the back. The view is from the back seat looking forward and a sliver of the outside world is visible through the window, showing a road and some greenery. So that is pretty amazing and that pretty well describes what's going on in the back seat. My dog is back there and I can, I don't want to really move my camera because I have it set up pretty good. Let's see here, maybe I can. So you can see what's going on back there yourself. You see my puppy to back there? That's my seeing eye bot dog, Abby. And there's my retired guy, Vernon. So let me show you what else is needed about this here. So I'm gonna do another picture. Pixie bot, heading, share, button. What is in this image? Check the images of the battle play. Button, page two of two, video, button. Video gallery, button, camera, button. Well, we're gonna take a picture Capture of what's, photo. what's in front of us. Catch your photo button. Catch your photo. This is at the front window. So Settings. I could be sitting in the truck and someone jumped out because it was an emergency. And I'm I'm blind. I'm curious what's going on. Now, listen, you can't see at the front window and I can't right now. The image shows a two-story brick house with a gray roof. It has white framed windows and a white front door with a wreath on it. To the left of the house is a well-maintained lawn and a wooden fence runs along the property line. The sky above is filled with dark, ominous storm clouds. In the foreground, we see the hood of a car and part of the windshield. A pair of sunglasses and a car key are resting on the dashboard. The perspective suggests the photo was taken from the driver's seat of the parked car. So that's pretty cool, and that's all pretty accurate. But I, that wasn't what I wanted to get. Honestly, but let's try one more picture. Pixie bot, head, share. What is in this image? The image in the fourth play. Button, page two of two. Video, button, video gallery, camera, button, camera, capture photo, button. So, because I guess I'm not parked the right way because I know it's in the driveway because I'm working on it. Capture photo, button. Let's say this out somewhere, someone jumped out. Now, let's see. Settings, button. And you don't know if someone jumped out because it's happened to me before. I've been in the vehicle, someone jumped out. I don't know what the heck is going on up there. This image shows the view from the driver's seat of a car. The interior is gray and black with a visible air vent and headlight controls. The driver's side mirror shows a reflection of a gray pickup truck parked behind. Through the windshield, a red fire truck is partially visible, parked behind the gray truck. In the distance, a house with a gray brick facade and a black door is visible through the passenger side windshield. The surrounding area appears to be residential with green grass and some plants. So that lets me know there's a fire truck here. What the heck is going on? So is this like an emergency? What the heck, right? 
So. This image shows the view from the drive play button. Page two of two. Video button. Now let's go to video. Record video. Zero people. Camera chooser. Record video. Till right. Here we go. Let's record a little video. Zero people. So I'm recording a video. Dog. One face near bottom right edge. I'm here. Near top edge. Then we're going to record all around us. Because I'm curious what's going on. Zero people. Zero people. Rotate. Button. Play. Till right. Pause. Use video. Recording a video. And we're going to use the video. Settings. So let's go into the database. This is amazing software. I'm so impressed. So right now, the desk, there's a fire truck there. I know there's no emergency, but let's see. Is it gonna show us an emergency or is it just there's a fire truck back there? We are looking out the window of a pickup truck driven by a man wearing a black shirt and a black baseball cap. He is looking at the camera and talking while a dark colored poodle sits on the passenger seat. We can hear him say, I'm recording a video of the dog. I'm here. Then we're going to record all around this. We are now driving toward a large house, driving onto the driveway as the man says, I'm curious what's going on. The truck stops and the video ends. The sky is a dark gray and it appears to be an overcast, possibly stormy day. We are driving through a typical residential neighborhood with a combination of trees, houses, and gardens. It's unclear why the man is recording or what is happening at the house. There are other vehicles parked on the lawn in front of the house. The dog appears to be calm and unperturbed, but the man is looking for an explanation and seems a little curious about what's going on. We are looking out the window. So now watch truck. this. Video. Play. Button. Page two of two. Video. But video gallery. Camera. Button. Photo gallery. Microphone. Button. I can ask questions. What is in this video? Text field. And chat. Type what you're looking for. Ellipsis. Type what you're looking for. Ellipsis. Text space. 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 Return. Emoji. Dictate. What kind of vehicles are in the driveway? Is there anything going on important? Inserted what kind of vehicles are in the driveway? Is there anything going on? Dictate. Cap you. Text. Text field. It send. Button. And chat. Button. We're in a car. The person behind the wheel is wearing a dark baseball cap and a black shirt. Their face is close to the camera and you can hear them say, I'm recording a video a dog with a slightly amused tone in their voice. We are close to a house with a long driveway. There's a big dark pickup truck parked in the driveway along with another car. A medium sized pickup truck is pulling out of the driveway as we observe from the car. The sky is overcast and the environment appears calm. It seems we're watching some activity in the driveway, but there's no indication of what's happening. We must not have had it pointing yet because there is a fire truck out there. Pixie Pod, heading. We're in a car. The person behind we're in a car. The person behind the wheel is play button. Okay, so let me show you what else too. Like so I have this little module here in my hand. Copy button. I don't know what it is. Share button. Type what you're looking for. Send button. Send. Type what. Share. Copy. Play button. We're in a car. What kind of vehicle? Share button. Copy button. Play button. We are looking out. Pixie pop. And chat button. And chat button. We are looking out. What is in this video? Share button. Pixie pop. Settings. Settings. Pixie pop. Share button. What is in this video? We are looking out the window. Video. Play button. Video. Play. Page two of video button. Video gallery button. Camera button. Photo gallery. Camera button. Catch your photo button. Cancel button. Catch your photo. Flash on button. Flash on. Catch your photo. Cancel button. Switch to front camera button. Switch to front. Cancel button. Catch your photo button. Okay. So I'm feeling around here. And I believe there is a sticker on this thing. There might be a sticker there. I'm not sure. Your lips are sensitive. I try to use stuff that I can feel with. 
Capture photo. Button. Settings. Well, this is what I use it for a lot. Finding out what parts are. Because honestly, there's a lot of new stuff under here. a hand holding a small black device inside a Ford vehicle. This device is a Bluetooth adapter designed for use with heavy duty trucks. It's specifically a Lemmer Blue model, as indicated by the labeling on the device. The adapter is likely being used to add Bluetooth connectivity for phone calls or music streaming to the truck's audio system. The photo also captures a portion of the truck's steering wheel, which features cruise control buttons and the Ford logo. So I'm gonna flip it around because that wasn't right. Pixie bot, headache, share, button. What is in this image? Text field. The image shows a head play. Button. Page two of two. Video. Button. Video gallery. Camera. Button. Catch. Catch your photo. Button. Catch your photo. Settings. Button. To say a picture says a thousand words. I'm counting like 40 or so. Oh, I guess. The image shows a hand holding a small black OBD2 onboard diagnostics adapter inside go. a vehicle. The adapter is designed to plug into the vehicle's OBD2 port, which is typically located under the dashboard on the driver's side. The adapter itself has a label on it that reads, Your user manual is in the Blue Driver app, along with customer support information. This suggests that the adapter is likely associated with a mobile app called Blue Driver which is used for vehicle diagnostics, code reading, and other related functions. So, even if you can see, I don't care who you are, this app is amazing, and it can tell you lots of information. If you're older, uh, you have difficulty reading, I have found some stuff, There are, I've asked somebody to help me and read stuff, and they couldn't read the words to me, and stuff, and I've taken pictures of it, and I was, it was able, to, and they were like, oh, that's what that is. They could understand the words, but they couldn't read the words. So this app is educational. So I think it's a great app, and it, it was given to me, it was gifted to me and said, what do I think as a blind person? Well, this is what I think. And I think it's great. And right now I know that it's one person that's doing this, which, I, I'm totally baffled that they are, this is so cutting edge and amazing. It, it's, it's freeing me up. Like I just showed how this blue driver worked by using the Apple phone. Now Apple does have a descriptive part. I can take a picture, but it'll just say a picture of a vehicle. It won't say it's a Ford vehicle, stuff like that. So this is just going that extra step. And thanks a lot for the creator of PixieBot. Great job. I, I appreciate it. And uh, I thank you for the technology, the time that you spent on this for, for people, children, anybody that can use this. All right, this is the blind man, handyman, giving the blue driver two, uh, PixieBot two thumbs up. And the blue driver, Yahoo. So right on. You take care, and uh, you guys can... My, my new seeing eye dog down there, that's Abby. And that's my retired one who's got a heart problem burning. You might see him every once in a while. They wanted to come out with me real bad. While I was doing this, they knew I was in here. It's like, hey, Abby, I want to come. I'm not driving anywhere. The adapter itself has a label on it that reads your user manual so, is in the blue. The adapter itself has a... So, yeah, I hope you like my review and you have a good day. Thanks for watching the Blind Man Handyman. Sorry if they're a bit long. I can't edit it. But I'm doing my best. Have a good day.